Hey, what's going on YouTube? Getting out here for day 26 today. Skies are breaking. We're going to have some blue sky again today. Going up Boulder Mountain, as usual. We're going out with uh, Dallas, a couple of the Jerry's, and Derek today. A uh, little bit of an explorer. We'll see if we can uh, get where we want to go. We got to cross a, a creek or a river at one point, and uh, not sure if there's going to be enough snow for there to be a snow bridge, so that, and then uh, there's another spot we probably have to do a shovel out, but uh, we'll see how things go. How's this for a big tree? It doesn't really even put it in perspective putting the snowmobile beside it. It's gotta be 12 feet across. So we've got our massive tree here, and then you got the second tree growing out of the big tree, but it's not a cedar tree. We've got a hemlock tree growing in a cedar tree. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> so we took a paracord and put it around the tree. I'm gonna tie a knot in it. And then tonight when we get down, we're gonna measure how many feet. Hey, we got uh, 35 foot five. Dallas likes his boulder fields here. It's more like a concrete field today, but... <laughs> Got a little creek to fill in here. We'll try the reverse tactic. Make the guys a nice trail instead of just making it so I got a wheelie across it. So now I guess we got like a group of eight going up here. Make things uh, interesting. Landon, Devin, and two other guys joined us. More creek tours. <laughs> The snow is rock hard. <laughs> Spinning out on the ice. We begin our detour now around the river. We have to find ourselves a snow bridge. Or make one. There's the river we gotta cross. You're not thinking about crossing that log, are you? I just heard the Jerry's. They're like, where the f are we going? Well, we couldn't find ourselves a snow bridge, so got the shovels out. And hopefully there's not like another big one up there because the creek splits in two right there, I think. So we're going to have to cross in two spots. I think we kind of want to cross the one. Yeah, do we? I know. <laughs> All right, another snow bridge done. Our last snow bridge didn't really get us where we wanted to go, so uh, scoping out a second one. What's up? Everything just gets so wide after that. Yeah. I'd rather, I think I'd rather take my chance with a little, one yeah. short little deep section. And a couple big trees in it. Yeah. We're going to try and go up through, higher up the creek to see if we can find a spot, but uh, it's not looking good. Trees are pretty thick. And he's in a spot. <laughs> well, me and Landon failed with our attempt. So we'll go back and we'll see if these guys have a bridge built yet. I leave for 20 minutes, and this is all you guys can do? Come on, get in here. <laughs> Coming along. Well, that should be it for the snow bridges. We're just gonna have one more shovel out that uh, 
just kind of a wash out in one spot and it'd be a gnarly side hill especially in this concrete so oh yeah little hole here i think we'll just shovel it in so it's a good trail for everyone but <laughs> Don't worry, I got... That's perfect, we can just ride right over yeah. the top. Okay, now there's one more shovel out. Ah, maybe two. Oh yeah. as gnarly as I remember. You want me to do the first side hill? Yeah, I think so, yeah. You got her, you got her on 146. Make a nice trench drop there. Would you try it? That looks like a right off. Oh, that'd be a right off. Yeah. I don't think you guys can really tell how steep it is down to here, but it's like 100 feet down and it is steep. This thing's like a highway, Jesus. It's a fit two snowmobiles wide through here. This is gonna be an all day mission, just kind of getting in here. Oh, come on. Oh good, I think we have another one up here. This is a lot of work! Creek spot here with a bit of a side hill. Now we gotta figure out if we're gonna go up this way into these trees or continue on and find a cool cave. Not really fine, we know where it is. Trees. Trees? Carnage. Car Yay. Carnage, okay. <laughs> Off to do some recon. Oh man, made a mistake of following Dallas's line. Well, we've made it a ways up here. How was that, Devin? <laughs> I think... <laughs> it sounds like the guys are struggling, but yeah, it sounded like it. It's not... old road right here. Maybe it'll bring us higher up. <sighs> Who we got first? I'm guessing Landon. Oh, <laughs> 
getting tired. Hey Landon, you got a copy? Yeah, Matt, go ahead. Just past where me and you were, it gets easy. Yeah, I figured that on the map. I'm gonna go look for Dallas now. Okay, uh, Devin and I are gonna go back down towards the group and maybe go up the logging out a little bit and see if there's a different road or something. Because I don't think anybody else is coming up here. Okay, well, uh, radio me and let me know what's happening down there, if you can. <laughs> oh, we made it! They're gonna go see if there's an easier way for the rest of the guys. <laughs> Never seen this view before. Have you found Dallas? Yeah, we're sitting up top here looking at the town of Revelstoke. places only a handful of sliders have probably ever been.
Got lots of sliders over there. Lots of sliders over there. Well, we got two sliders here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guess we'll uh, make our descent down now. Find other guys since we kind of ditched them. Out of the big old growth, back into the cut block. That's shitty. Whew. Making our way back through these gnarly trees here. Found the Jerry's and Derek. Doesn't look like the happiest camper ever. Derek, where's your Snickers? It's in my bag. <laughs> Want me to pull it out? I think you, I think you better. Yeah, you better. I don't want. <laughs> Time to work the way out. Everyone else already got a head start on us. Me and Dallas here. Here. And we're pretty much in the friggin' valley bottom. It's weird that in Revelstoke, you think there's no snow at all? We come up like, I don't know, maybe two, two to four hundred meters above town here. I'd have to check. And it's like lots of snow. It's not good snow, but there's snow. That's weird. Huh. Did you know that there, somebody came back here and found all these trees, like these big cedar trees and whatnot, and they're like trying to make it a, like a park? Really? Yeah. No, no thanks. Yeah. Now we've got an orange flag here. It's like they're marking a trail. Oh, another one up there. Those are hiking trail marks, aren't they? Yeah, it must be. Last year when I was running up here with someone, they were side hilling along this bank here and ended up upside down in the creek right there. It was a pretty good show. Brappity brap. Brap brap. That was not what I wanted at all. You guys are probably going to be watching a lot of GoPro video at this point. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got today. Not much else. I mean, there was just... Not much riding happening. We'll call uh, today a GoPro expedition. It was pretty cool going up to a new zone though that I'd never been to. I personally didn't. Oh, okay. I guess we got a little souvenir now. I wasn't too sure that we were going to get there, but we did it. It was Dallas's idea. I told him in the morning, I was like, oh, well, I got my dad. He's like, oh yeah, he'll be all right. It was just one tiny section there that was, I guess, a lot gnarlier than we thought. Because when we went back down it, it was like, okay, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty steep and shitty. Catching up to the Jerry's here. There's, oh, dumbass. Everything's gonna be shaking the hell in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> Guess I'll put the pin in. Oh yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's not good. Search and rescue pulling in. What is going on up there? I think someone's hurt. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I guess search and rescue is in the parking lot because someone's injured. Uh, hope you're alright. Not injured too bad. But I did offer my help anyway, even though I figured they wouldn't want it or need it. And of course they didn't. 
But uh, yeah, pretty good day out there. I mean, I didn't really film any snowmobiling, but I ended up with a crazy amount of GoPro footage. And I guess I kind of told a story of today instead of just, you know, putting random riding clips in. So hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you tomorrow.